What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Josh back with another video. And before we hop into this tutorial, I want you guys to know that I've been nominated for the best barber in my city. I'm going to put the link to the website in the description. Make sure you guys scroll to number 49. And that's the barber category. Click Josh X Barber. Make sure you guys put your email at the bottom and press submit to submit your vote. Thank you guys for all your support. Now let's get right into this video. What's going on, y'all? And we're back with another haircut tutorial. Today in this tutorial, we're going to be giving my guy a 1.5 with the grain on top all the way around. And we're going to be giving him a taper fade. Before cutting, you want to make sure you go in and comb through all the hair to get all the hair to lift up off the scalp so you can have a better cut down process. So right here, I'm going to go in with my number one and a half guard on my cordless magic clips. Go on with the grain and you want to make sure that you follow the pattern of the hair so you don't plug anybody or give them any bald spots. So especially in that crown area, make sure you cut it with the direction that the hair is growing. And we're just going to cut over the hair all the way until all the hair is gone. You don't want to just go over it one time. You want to go over it multiple times to make sure that you get every piece of hair. So we're not going to be keeping a C cup because we're giving him a high taper. So I'm going to take my ball line and just take it straight across all the way to the crease of the ear. And we're just going to be setting in our ball line. I set it in hard the first time, but as you can see right here, I'm just going up and softening it. So it won't be hard to get that line out. So right after setting in our ball line, I'm going to go in with my cordless magic clips with the lever all the way open. And I'm going to go up about a half an inch. And as soon as we're done setting in this guideline, I'm just going to drop down and close my lever halfway and flick that line that's left behind so we can clear out this guideline and get on to the next. So right here, I'm going in with my number one guard with the lever all the way closed. I'm going up about another half an inch, just setting in our next guideline. So right after setting in our guideline with my number one guard closed, I'm going to come back with my half guard closed and just start up under the line and flick out that dark line that was left after setting in that guideline. So to finish blending this taper into the top, I'm going to be doing my fading down process, starting with my number two guard with the lever all the way open. The reason why I started with the number two guard is because the number two guard open blends right into the one and a half closed with the grain on top. So if you cut anybody um, to a one and a half with the grain on top, make sure you guys start your fade with the number two guard open. That'll make your blend process so much easier and won't push it up too high. Right after doing the number two guard, I'm going to come in with my number one and a half guard with the lever all the way open, and then I'm just going to close it. So basically all I do is I start open and I close it gradually. So I start bigger and we working down because we're fading the hair from longer to shorter as we go to the bottom of this fade. Coming right behind the one and a half guard, I'm going to come in with my number one guard with the lever all the way open. As you guys remember, we stopped with the number one guard closed when we made that last guideline before picking up the number two guard. The number one guard open is going to blend that one closed right into that one and a half closed area. And, you know, we might still need to do some more detail work, but basically that's the system. So basically right here, I'm just doing some detail work. And I'm going to go across the top of the hairline with the number one guard with the lever all the way open just to lay it down to prep it for the lineup. So right here I'm just doing some more detail work but I'm doing some corner blending with no guard on. This right here basically just breaks up all those little dark areas.
Moving on to the neck taper, just like we did on the side taper, I'm starting my ball line with my gold babbless trimmers, and I'm just going to be setting it in as a harsh guideline, and then I'm going to come right behind it and just soften it up by hitting the bottom of that line so it won't be that hard to get out. So right after setting in my ball line, I'm going to go in with my cordless magic clips again with the lever all the way open with no guard on, going up about a half an inch. So right after setting in that guideline, I'm going to drop down with the lever halfway closed and just start up under the line and flick up to the line to blend it right out. Moving on to the next guideline, I have my number one guard with the lever all the way closed, going up about another half an inch just setting in this next guideline. And as you guys can see, going towards like on the side where the neckline is, I have to turn the clipper sideways. That's because that's the way that his hair is growing towards on the neckline side, but not in the middle. You want to make sure that you pay attention to that because this is what's going to make your fade come out good or not. Everybody's hair doesn't grow completely straight down, so you have to kind of understand that. Coming back in with the half guard, I'm going to be starting up under the line and flicking up to that dark line that that one guard closed left behind to blend it right out. Finishing off this neck taper, I'm going to do my fade and down process, but right here I picked up the number three guard. I know I didn't do it on the sides, but I felt like in the back his hair was slightly thicker. So I didn't want to, you know, go up too high with the number two guard open because it'll just make his fade look super high. But right after going in with the number three guard, I came back with my number two guard with the lever all the way open. And as you guys can see, my guy has that natural crease on the back of his neck, but we're actually going to work around that to get this fade to be as perfect as I can make it. So for the next taper, we're going to be following the same exact steps, but um, if you ever run into anybody that has like a crease on the back of their neck while trying to do a taper, a lot of times you kind of have to just, um, you know, adjust to the way the hair is growing. Pull the skin a little bit to lift it up to give yourself some clearance, but at the end of the day, it fades the same. So right after going in with my number two guard, I came back with my number one and a half guard with the lever all the way open. And as you guys can see, I'm just using the corner because I don't want to cut too much hair. Like I said, he has that crease in the back of his neck and you can't just go in like you would do anybody else. I'm using my corner a lot and I'm kind of getting more control of where I'm cutting because that's, what, that's what's going to allow me to get this fade to be done right. So right here I drop down to my number one and a half guard with the lever all the way closed and I'm just steady working down in this fade and we're just going to go through the whole process. Right here I have my number one guard with the lever all the way open just connecting that one guard close to that one and a half area and basically we're done with this taper fade and on the neck we're just going to be doing a lot of detail work from here on.
Now that we're done with the neck and side taper, we're gonna go in with my number three guard and I'm gonna go against the grain, just cutting his beard down all the way around evenly at number three guard. So right here, I'm gonna be blending the beard right into that taper. This is one of the most important parts when people do have beards is to get that blend right. So usually on my beard, um, on my beards, when I'm fading it in, I usually start bigger and go smaller. So as you guys seen, I started with my number one and a half all the way open. And I just blend it right down all the way to the one, then to the half, then to the no guard. So right here, I'm going to apply my Tresemme holding spray and I'm just going to blow dry and lock it in so we can get ready to do this lineup. So for the lineup, I'm going to be using my Babyliss Gold Effects trimmers to start off with, but eventually I'm going to pick up my uh, detailers because I feel like sometimes with different hair textures, certain clippers, I feel work better. And it, in, in this haircut, I picked up the detailers and it just went stupid for me. And y'all already know the neckline is super crispy. On this side, I didn't really get to go around the ear because I was standing in front of the camera, so I didn't show that. But on this side, you're gonna get the full effect because that thing came out crispy. So right here, I'm about to do the beard line too. And we're gonna clean up his mustache and everything. Go have him looking right. Wait till we done with this haircut. So right here I'm going in with my razor doing that razor work and as you guys can see man it's already getting sharper you know what I'm saying that razor line do something crazy to them haircuts and we're going to be keeping his haircut all natural no enhancements so this is his true lineup super crispy you guys can see and right here I'm going to go in with my shaver not everybody can use a shaver because some people break out but he doesn't so it's all good but YouTube, you see where he came from. The haircut was definitely much needed. And as you guys can see in the title, like I said, this is my girlfriend's dad. So you know I had to get him right. You know what I'm saying? But YouTube, without further ado, this is the cut. Let me know what you guys think about this haircut in the comments. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video. Share it with a friend. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you are subscribed to my channel to see more videos. And follow me on Instagram at JoshXBarber like you guys see on the top of this video. It's your boy Josh, and I'm out.